Hi guys, Simon here, hope you're well. Today I want to talk to you about volunteering. Did you know that one in five people in the UK volunteered at least once a month through an organisation at the last count? That equates to 11.9 million people. The National Council for Voluntary Organisations, or NCVO for short, helps people in the UK volunteer. They have been working with the government to provide fact sheets, uh, videos and other information um, about volunteers um, going abroad and helping in migrant and refugee camps. So when the NCVO asked me about doing a video to showcase safe volunteering abroad, the first thing I thought of was a friend of mine called Stephen who went over and volunteered on the Greek island of Lesbos um, a few years ago. Now Stephen volunteered through an organisation called Lighthouse Relief. Um, which was set up in 2015 to help the refugee crisis that was occurring around a lot of the Greek islands uh, during that time as people fled the Middle East because of wars and, and other conflicts. I got in touch with Steve and I asked him if I could pick his brains and interview him and he agreed to do that. So what I want to do is show you some of the answers that, that Stephen gives in a way that I hope it will inform your choices about how you go about volunteering. Before I show you the interview with Stephen, to help you understand what you might experience within a refugee or migrant camp, I wanted to share a couple of videos that Stephen posted on Facebook uh, a couple of years ago during his time in Lesbos. So as you can see behind me, uh, we've got a boat just arrived. If you do the maths, I think we've had seven, seven to six, seven boats. So that's roughly three, over 300 people that we've been processing this morning and getting all sorted. Um, the team's been working tirelessly and uh, it's really great to be part of such a, a great team. We've observed and been tracking about probably 10 boats and uh, liaise with the various uh, uh, coast guards and response boats and they've uh, gone out to intercept them and uh, guide them to safety. I was originally going for three weeks uh, and then I ended up being there for six months. I, I ended up staying for much longer because after a week I was actually offered the the opportunity to actually manage the camp that they had there. Um, so because I was a part of this uh, NGO which was actually very new and was growing, um, I didn't want to leave because I had a, I had I felt like I was actually making a difference. I feel that if you're going to volunteer somewhere, it's it's good to be part of an organisation because you get direction. Yeah. You're not double handling situations. You, you know, you're not repeating things and giving people different information. Mm -hmm. So it's really important in, in high stress situations like this that you're actually helping. At times in in Lesbos, there were so many volunteers, and if you if you weren't careful. There were too many and it ended up being uh, crazy and just a mess. You know, people going being taken that way when they should be going that way. Children being taken away from families. Uh, so, yeah, it, I think personally going through an organisation is best all round, you know, for the volunteer and for the, the, the people that you're there to help. So I think it's really important to, to do definitely do some research about where you're going. I think it's really important that you find a volunteering organisation to join. In my last role that I was doing on mainland Greece, in the particular camp where I was, you know, thousand plus people just left in like a tented camp. You know, you, you heard, sadly you heard stories of children disappearing and coming back a few days later. All the way along the journey you, you, you were exposed to you know, hearing all of these tragic stories. If you're going to go to volunteer, then you have to have sort of a minimum. We would always say a sort of week or two. I mean, two weeks, really more. Just be prepared to do something that you've never done before, I guess, and prepare yourself to see some really difficult things. You have to try and stay positive. My best thing was smiling. Just keep smiling. Like if if you can do that, then it makes such a difference. And it's worth saying that. Volunteering uh, and migrants and refugees happens everywhere all over the world. People are fleeing a lot of war-torn areas. They're fleeing bad, negative situations and trying to put themselves 
in a in a better situation to live, not just for themselves, but quite often for their for their family and, and friends as well. It's worth emphasising that because of this, as a volunteer in a refugee or migrant camp, the advice you give will be very influential on them and the decisions they might make on the next step. And if you're not sure what's the right advice or the wrong advice, even better is just to point them towards some qualified professionals who also work in the camps if the refugees or migrants come to you with any questions such as for onward travel. So there you go guys, if you are one of the many people who wants to help and volunteer over the next few months uh, and years, I hope this video and uh, the interview with Stephen was useful for you. And don't forget to check out the NCVO website for more information. And if you have any questions about volunteering, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to, to answer them as best I can. Stay safe, guys, and see you next time.